evening. having a little technical difficulty here. Sorry about the delay this evening. I know it's a warm night and uh, you guys all want to get going, but yeah, I, I, you can hear me, but people on TV will never hear me. <coughs> Let's give Frank just a couple more minutes, uh, but in any event, I think we can start the meeting and ask for a roll call, please. Here. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. At this point in the meeting, I would like to take a moment of silence to please keep the following individuals who have passed away in your thoughts and your prayers. Mary Lou Dorgan is a cousin of Barbara Dennis Bale, clerk at Pell Elementary School. Elise uh, Elsie Diacentis, am I on now, Frankie? Can you hear me now? All right. Elsie Diacentis, the aunt of Sheila Diacentis, which is para educator at Pell Elementary School. Patricia Browner, grandmother of Michael Browner Jr., grade seven, Thompson Middle School. Eddie Carter, cousin of Selenia Kreiner, a paraeducator at Rogers High School. Gil Soares, the husband of Marianne Menace, grade one teacher here at Pell Elementary School. David Lemler, father of Amy Minnick, paraeducator at Pell Elementary School. Robert Richardson, cousin of Carmen Scott, paraeducator, and Andrew McCarthy, custodian here at Pell Elementary School. Bill Roberts, uncle of Kerry Smith, occupational therapist at Pell Elementary. George McKenna, grandfather of Elena Lavalle, special educator here at Pell Elementary School. A moment of silence, please. Thank you. The following appointments here will be made to the school uh, building subcommittee, and that would be uh, Joey Begain, if you'd like to add her to the subcommittee. And the next would be um, Ms. Nash. Is there anyone signed up for public speaking? We do not. Next would be our student council update. Can you guys stay here? Yes, Does that right work? there. Okay. Um, is that mic'd up? Hi. Does that work? Okay. I'm Jane, senior at Rogers, um, for the student vice. So our school year is coming to a close, and the sports seasons recently wrapped up very successful seasons at Rogers. Boys ba um, baseball lost in the quarterfinals. The boys lacrosse team and girls softball teams both lost in the semifinals. Boys track won the Class C championship, and some athletes continued on to compete in the state competition and national meet. The girls lacrosse team won the Division III championship, and the Rogers robotics team placed second and third in the international competition. Overall, it has been a great spring in Newport Public Schools. Junior prom happened recently, along with the first eighth grade semi-formal at Thompson. Um, the seniors have had a very busy past couple of weeks with honors night, sports banquet, and senior banquet, which was last night. Senior prom is tomorrow and graduation is Friday. This has been a great year for all of Newport Public Schools. I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to speak to all of you this year. 
I've had an amazing time going to Newport schools my whole life and cannot imagine my life if I had chosen a different path. Happy summer. you share with everybody what you guys are going to do Friday after uh, you have the rehearsal for graduation, where you're going? So Thursday, we have Thursday. the rehearsal. Friday, all the seniors are going to walk through Pell and Thompson in their cap and gowns to show all the kids that it's a great thing to graduate and give them something to look forward to in the future. And I want to add that Jane has volunteered along with uh, one of the teachers at the high school this year to make name tags for everybody so that all the teachers will know who these students are as they come through. Yeah. And, uh, we look a lot different than we did in kindergarten. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting. Yeah. Excellent. The, uh, the next uh, items on our list this evening are resolutions and certificates of achievement. And I'm not sure if our first uh, recogni recognized individual is here. Is Sybil Graco here? I didn't see her here earlier. In any event, we're going to recognize her this evening. Sybil is the recipient of the 2018 New England Aquarium Ocean Stewardship Award. Ms. Graco will receive a free aquarium program at Pell Elementary School in the fall of 2018. Additionally, she received recognition at the New England Aquarium World Oceans Day event on June 10th, 2018, and will be featured on their website and educational newsletter. The entire nomination committee felt that Ms. Graco exemplified what it means to be involved in community-wide engagement aimed at raising awareness of how our lives in the in are interconnected with the ocean and aquatic systems. Additionally, her passion about the ocean and tireless work to promote an ethic of ocean conservation in her classroom was recognized. Congratulations, Sybil, and we will make sure that you get this award. Thank you very much. And the next award, which we are proud to hand out this evening, I believe this individual is here. Tonight we would like to recognize our District Teacher of the Year. The Newport's Teacher of the Year this year is Elizabeth Gibbs, and we'd like to recognize her this evening with a resolution. So Elizabeth, if you'd like to come up, Mr. Gomes. With The resolution reads, whereas Elizabeth Gibbs started her teaching career as a grade eight science teacher at Thompson Middle School in September of 1998, and whereas Elizabeth Gibbs holds a bachelor's degree in English from Wellesley College, a master's degree in environmental studies from Antioch New England College Graduate School, and a certificate of natural science illustration from Rhode Island School of Design, and whereas Elizabeth Gibbs has dedicated her efforts to student engagement, community outreach, professional development, has served as a student council advisor, co-chair of the school improvement team, and currently serves as co-advisor for the SMILE, which is science, math, investigative learning program after school. Whereas Elizabeth Gibbs learns perpetually and shares knowledge generously as a Newport early adopter for Fuse Rhode Island, implementing blended and personalized learning into her classroom. Whereas Elizabeth Gibbs' efforts in the classroom and outside the school walls demonstrate the highest standards of lifelong learning. Her connections to local and global communities provide opportunities for her students and colleagues to see beyond immediate situations and apply learning in a larger life context. And whereas Elizabeth Gibbs was honored as a District Teacher of the Year by the Newport Public Schools Teacher of the Year Selection Committee, therefore be it resolved that Elizabeth Gibbs be commended by the Newport School Committee as a 2019 Newport Public Schools Teacher of the Year, and therefore be it also resolved that a copy of this res resolution will be spread upon the official records of the Newport School Committee and the original be presented to Elizabeth Gibbs as an expression of our appreciation for her performance as a truly dedicated professional and outstanding member of the educational community and as one who has gained the respect of those whom she has served so well. Congratulations and thank you very much.
probably not. It'll get you. Mr. Hanos? Yes. Um, Mrs. Graco came in, right? Yeah. Yes. So Mrs. Graco is here. I, d I, would, I was going to add something to. She, she? she came in right after oh we finished. Oh, my goodness. But I wanted to add something that <laughs> Mrs. Graco, besides the award she received from um, the aquarium, <laughs> she has worked tirelessly with her students and to come up with some th recycling things. And one of the biggest ones is to, she decided that their kids were going to outlaw the straws because that was affecting you know, um, our oceans and it was also you know, a waste and, uh, and that we didn't need them. So they worked hard, they present, presented to the city council on, a, on different issues and she's worked, I think this is the third year in a row that, that she's brought her kids into the fold and has really helped with the recycling here at, at um, Pell Elementary and we wanna thank her for that also. And yes. So, Sybil, they, they all heard the recognition, but if you want to come up on, please, and let uh, Mr. Gomes, please, give it to you. And if you want to say a few words, we want to thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. And, Mr. Chair, may I? Yes. On our Teacher of the Year, Elizabeth Gibbs, I invite all of you to go visit her classroom. It is quite an amazing place. And the irony of having a boa constrictor on one side of the room and baby chicks on the others is not lost on me after someone pointed it out to me. Um, Lurch is not here this evening, but I believe if you saw the local paper, you saw Lurch, who has been with Miss. Um, Gibbs for quite a while. So I want to thank her, and we're very proud, and it's our teachers that make the difference in the classroom. So thank you. The, uh, the next item on our resolution certificates is to uh, congratulate our Rogers High School robotics team who attended the Sea Perch National Competition. The team won the first ever sportsmanship award and a second place in the Towers Challenge, and a third place in the Obstacle Course. So if Mr. Dickinson, you want to come up, I'll read the names of your students, and we'll, we'll give them their uh, certificates with Kathy. The team members are Brandon Poling. Jack Garforth. <laughs> Pearson Garcia. <laughs> Brooklyn Wakefield. <laughs> and Caroline Florence. Mr. Dickinson, if you want to brag about your students for a moment, you're more than welcome to take the mic. <laughs> uh, my teams have worked very hard. I have uh, three uh, members of our new team this year. It was their first um, trip to what's now the international competition. Uh, my senior team here, Jack and Brandon, have, uh, it's two years for them. Um, we've, we, as Rogers uh, Robotics, have been doing this for about five years. So it was an accumulation of um, five years of work to bring us to the level um, that we could achieve uh, at the weekend event. Um, obviously, I'm very proud of my team. They've all done a great job. We were also asked to chaperone slash adopt uh, 
group of a small family uh, from Utah and show them uh, what Sea Perch is. That's our program. And um, I guess they're like really big on YouTube and Instagram. Um, one picture that they posted by the end of the day had 25,000 likes or something, you know, and they do crazy stuff. And so they wanted to document for YouTube the Sea Perch program. So we took them in and uh, let them operate our robots and, um, you know, in, in time between competitions. And uh, our work with them is how we earned the uh, first sportsmanship award. I was really proud of my team for doing that. Excellent. This was four years in a row of making it to uh, the previous national competition this year, the international competition. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say that I have uh, five empty fingers <laughs> <laughs> looking for some decoration. <laughs> Next group we'd like to recognize this evening, we've got a lot of awesome recognitions tonight, um, would be the recognition of the Rogers High School girls lacrosse team. Miss Bolin is going to help hand out the certificates, but if we could just uh, have the coaches, uh, Marie Noons, Lauren Corr, and Matt Noons, if you guys are here, want to come on up and... Uh... <laughs> the whole girls team up here like to stand up here in the front history here. The girls lacrosse team was just a dream four years ago and we had some parents here who believed in our girls and wanted to get it started and they started it at Thompson Middle School. They started there and then they worked with the girls. The boys got their team and the girls were not going to be left behind and that same year uh, that the, the boys started and then the girls started the next year and um, we have some of the original like the seniors would all be members of that original team. And um, so I want to introduce our coaches here because without them, this would never have happened. This is um, Marie Noons and Lauren Carson and Court. Court. I'm sorry, Court. Laura Court and Matt Noons. And this is a, just to let you know, their three daughters play on the team too, which is highly <laughs> unusual to have three girls on the same team. Awesome. But um, they're truly dedicated people and this is such an honor to think that these girls went to the state champions just a few you know, years after getting established. I'm very, very proud of them. So I'm gonna um, read the names off, I guess, and then you will hand out, let's do them right from here. They're in order, I think. So um, uh, let's say, so, and I also wanna recognize the two team captains. So we have Jane Lees and, um, and Mrs. Noons, this is, uh, Olivia, Olivia. get them all mixed up. So Olivia Noons, okay, both <laughs> seniors and graduating. All right, so we have Ella Walker. Just, um, come on up. you wanna walk down and hand them some? Yeah. Ella Walker, Emma Leach, uh, Nicole, she's not here, okay, Nicole Ricks, Lisa, Eliza Noons, Chanel Butler, Olivia Noons, uh, Rose Gustafis, uh, Emma Dano, uh, Janaira Gen Medina, Anna Murphy, Riley Murphy, Bridget Murphy, big on the Murphys too, uh, Grace Burgess, Crystal Fuerte, Emily Murphy, wait, another Murphy, um, Faye Callahan, Lauren Martland, 
Caroline Murphy Casey, Peyton Gardner, Jane Lees, uh, Ziliana Medina, Gabriella Cesarini, Emma Martins, Catherine Straka, Tess Noons, and Peyton Fitzgerald. And, and I welcome the coaches to come up and speak now. your support and I couldn't have done it without a great group of girls. I told them before there was they just all got along and rose to every game, every occasion and couldn't ask for any a better group of girls, really. I'm gonna miss you guys, all my seniors. <laughs> Thank you girls. Just just one minute. Right. I, I wasn't sure whether I was going to officially need to sign up for the public comment portion. Therefore, Mr. Haino would have control of my time rather than the actual <laughs> head coach. But it wasn't necessary. So there's a little unfinished business from the other evening, which I wanted to take just a moment and do. And that's to recognize our seniors. And if you guys could just step forward. We had two attack. We had two defense, and we had one midfield. And that's Jane Lees at the midfield, Bridget and Faye at attack, and Riley and Olivia at defense. And uh, the five girls are all headed off to college, and that will be represented by URI, Rhode Island College, University of Colorado Boulder, and Florida State University. Awesome. Congratulations, seniors. <laughs> Echoing uh, Becky's comments, I just really wanted to thank the school committee and the AD. Uh, I know it goes by quickly, um, but it was just uh, four short years ago when uh, the contract was not done at that time with the teachers. Uh, the budget had been voted on. Um, the AD uh, position was in some uh, consideration, shall we say, and it certainly was not an opportune time for the school committee and the superintendent to place confidence in a group of young ladies and have them go out and expand the athletic offering at Rogers High School. And that's not an easy thing to do. You see it in communities all over the state. And I just really want to thank you for that confidence at that time. And we're happy to bring back a state championship and an undefeated season just four, four years later. Thank you. Additionally, um, there's just one note, and this kind of carries beyond athletics. It is uh, the acronym TEAM. I, I really try to teach the girls that um, the, our acronym behind the term TEAM was together everyone achieves more. And we try to emulate that throughout the season and all the way up to Providence. So, Carry that with you, girls, lessons in life, the seniors that are moving on, and uh, the underclassmen, let's see if we can keep that momentum going next year. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and finally, uh, very, very quickly, now the real work begins. We need the community support. Uh, this obviously couldn't have been done without a lot of support from the parents and the community and in this short time, four years, it goes back a lot further than that. But we needed to get it going at Pell, we need to continue building the program at uh, Thompson, and then we need more support and more girls playing at Rogers High School. Thank you again for everything, girls. Great season. Thank you, school committee. Thank you, Superintendent Germain.
And I just want to say thank you too to the coaches because uh, without your hard work and these kids, uh, these kids' hard work and showing up to practice and everything, in four short years, you guys uh, came a long way. We're proud of you guys. Nice job. Um, we have to have a motion to suspend the rules because we have two late coming groups that we need to recognize who actually completed or finished some of their um, competitions after our hosting period or agenda. So if I could please have a motion to suspend the rules in order to honor the track and girls swim team. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So noted. Uh, we would like to uh, recognize first the Rogers High School boys track team. So uh, if we could have Coach Martucci come up with Mr. Gomes and we can hand out his hand out the uh, awards for your team. So Rogers <laughs> Rogers High School the Rogers High School boys track team won the Eastern Division Championship for the first time since 2005. It also captured Class C state championship. This team defeated the likes of LaSalle, Barrington, Portsmouth for the divisional crown. At the class meet, Rogers finished with 170 and a half points, with East Greenwich at a distant second with 99 points. The team qualified 13 athletes for the Rhode Island State Championship. Ian Hall was a state champion in the javelin, and Ty Medeiros was the runner-up in the triple jump. From the state meet, Rogers had nine boys qualify for the New England Track and Field Championship. In addition, three young gentlemen, Ian Hall, Brian Neal, and Ezra Montero, will be representing the Rogers at the Boys Outdoor Track and Field National Championship in North Carolina this coming weekend. Great Woo! job. Coach <laughs> All right, we're going to make this quick. I'm just going to read the names of everybody on the team. Um, if you guys are here, step forward and grab your certificate, okay? Um, Nasir, Salam, Tyree Audrey, Terrell Bennett, Sam Bond, <laughs> Cameron Borges. Oh. Come on down, Tyree. Yeah, <laughs> All right, Cameron Borges, is he here? No. We had our team dinner this afternoon in, at Rogers, so some of the guys might have had trouble getting to both events, but um, pretty much everybody was there today. Um, Cameron Brown, jo uh, Graham Kluwer, <laughs> Angelo Cuevas, Noah Rasquin, Will Farley, no, Joseph Frederick, <laughs> Jacoby Gardner, Edward Garofalo, Andres Guzman. <laughs> Parker Hagen, Ian Hall, Aziz Hazel, Pete Hebda, Lareeb Iqbal. Jihad Jones, yeah. Colton Kenny, yeah. Nyrell Lockhart, yeah. Damon Madison, yeah. Angel Martinez, Caden yeah. Medeiros, Ty Medeiros. Ezra Montero, Brian Neal, yeah. 
Lorenzo Olson Sherman. Osiris Para. Eldwin Peru. Michael Phelps. John Rangel. Logan Ratcliffe. Henry Rayner. Manny Sims. RJ Stevens. Jonathan Tejada. Jaleel Thomas. Jaleel. Aiden Trembley Robinson. Khalil Woodland. And Bobby Zeller. Sylvester London, we have one coming for you. <laughs> and that is our team, and uh, thank you for, for um, congratulating us. Thank you. Excellent job. Good job. How many are on your team? How did you do that? The, the next group we would like, we're honored and proud and happy to honor are our Rogers High School girls swim team. I don't see, is JJ and Sarah in the house? Okay, so the two folks that work their tails off, and uh, well, we'll have the AD come on up and assist. Come on up, Mr. Cawley. But JJ and Sarah, I know our, our uh, pit bulls on the, uh, on the deck because my daughters were swimming in there when they were at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, but some of the things we want to recognize for this, for this awesome team was the girls' varsity swim team completed their season with a 10-0 record and were class state champs. At the Rhode Island Interscholastic League Division II Championship meet, Anna Bodycoat placed first in the 100-yard backstroke, the 200-yard IM, and was recognized as the second team All-State in the backstroke. Emma Surth, Haley Bodycoat, Anna Bodycoat, that's sisters, Kaylee Palmer placed first in the 400-yard freestyle. So, Mr. Cawley, if you wouldn't mind uh, mentioning the names of this awesome team, and Dr. Flowers can hand them certific certificates. Absolutely. <laughs> And a body coat. <laughs> Haley body coat. <laughs> we'll just mention something. Morgan Brady. Nice. Faye Callahan. <laughs> Gabriella Cesarini. <laughs> Alexander Cranston. Phoebe Elliott, Pey Peyton Fitzgerald, Marley Gifford, Alita Cooey, Kaylin Martin, we can applaud now, Mariana May, Abigail Mosier. <laughs> Olivia Nunes. <laughs> Kaylee Palmer. <laughs> Kenzie Palmer. <laughs> and I believe we'll just read the rest of the names. Emmy Surth. Liza Taylor, Katie Tejada, and Avery Whitaker. I think just one last thing before these girls walk away. Um, I did take a quick look um, when I saw that someone should speak, that there are 11 events that these girls compete in, 
And this crew here, obviously some missing, they broke seven of those 11 this year were established by girls that were up here, awesome. which is a phenomenal feat for a program that's wow. 30, almost 30 years old, that seven of those records were broken this year by this group. Outstanding. Uh, we take a brief moment. If the students and uh, folks that were recognized want to exit the building, we'll just take a brief moment. Thanks, guys. And girls. And girls. Guys in general. Good luck with your exams. Study hard.